And hello and welcome to the Intro to Dynamic Flexibility series brought to you by Potomac River Running. Today is a very intro session. Um, for those of you who've never done any sort of dynamic flexibility, uh, any sort of movement oriented stretching. So we're gonna go through this relatively quickly and have you practice on your own. So we're gonna start with a little bit of almost a warm up. Um, it's called marching. It's really simple. I'm sure you've done it before. You're going to bring your knee up to approximately 90 degrees and you're just going to march in place. You can do this for 30 seconds, a minute, whatever kind of starts getting your heart rate up. We wanna start getting it going basically. So we're not stretching completely cold muscles. So that's from the front, from the side, looks like that. Again, just a simple march, okay? When you've done that for, again, your 30 seconds to two minutes or so, we're gonna add a hold to that. So you're gonna bring your knee up to 90 degrees, you're gonna grab around your knee, and you're gonna hold. And then you're gonna switch, and you're gonna do this 10 times on each side. All right, so this is your marching with a hold. The next three are leg swings. We're going to swing side to side, front to back, and then with the knee locked in at 90 degrees. With leg swings, it is not a forced movement. You're not a punter in the NFL. You are simply warming up your legs. So it's gonna start relatively low, and then it's gonna get a little higher and a little higher. Think of your foot like a golf club. It's a pendulum action, it is not robotic. Okay, so leg swings. First one, again, is side to side. Getting a little higher with each swing. I'm not forcing it, everything is robotic. You can go eight to 10 on each side with that. The next one is front to back. Find a pole, find a wall, find a chair, whatever it happens to be. With your inside leg, you're going to, again, start swinging. Getting a little higher and a little higher with each swing, eight to 10 on each side. The last one, in the same position, you're just going to bring your knee up to 90 degrees, you're going to keep your toe up or dorsiflexed, and you're gonna lock this position in place, and we're gonna swing. Again, we're opening up the muscles here, okay? The last one is a calf stretch. And this is a di little different version. It's more of an active isolated stretch. And so with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on the ground. You're going to bring one leg in, about a foot, foot and a half from your uh, butt. Then you're going to bring your toe up as far as it can go using the tibialis anterior, okay, the shin muscles, right? You're going to bring it up as far as you can go. You're gonna assist at the top and then relax. Okay, that assisting at the top, one second maybe, okay? Nice and relaxed. What this does is we're activating the posterior aspect, uh, excuse me, the anterior aspect of the shin, releasing the posterior aspect. So that is the exact rhythm. That'll loosen up your calves. All right, to, to recap, what we went over, marching for 30 seconds to two minutes or so just to get the heart rate up a little bit, marching with the knee hold for eight to 10 per side. We went over leg swings, side to side, front to back, knee at 90 degrees, eight to 10 on each side. And then we went over the calf stretching, again, eight to 10 on each side. Feel free to stop by and see us at the store. We'll catch you later.